All the makes Miko sound possible. Miko's my name is Taff316. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my first reaction to Gordon, Gino, and Fred American Road Trip. So this has been on the back burner for quite some time. And by quite some time, I think I mean the entire year. When was it that I did um, Great Christmas Roast? Was that in December? I've done Great Christmas Roast. Uh, I've done... Uh, wait, did I do the other Christmas special? I think I did. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. So I did both the Christmas specials. The one in Morocco was the other one. Uh, for a second, I'm like, wait, fuck, did I do that? Yeah, I did. I, did. I don't remember what I did. And then, of course, I did the first series. Uh, so this is American Road Trip Series 2. It has four episodes instead of three. And the big question here is, can I still put this on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. You already know because you're cheating and you're from the future, but I don't have a time machine, so I have no idea. Uh, I guess I'll find out, though. Regardless, though, uh, we're going to start with the first episode of American Road Trip, The Three Amigos. I believe these are... Were they, I don't know if they were 55 minutes before. They may have been 50, but this one's 55 minutes. Let's go ahead and watch it. Let's go. <laughs> Three amigos in Mexico. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The boy still moan like a bitch. <laughs> Don't laugh at him. It's funny. We are going through Mexico like three amigos. How do you come up with this stuff? I don't know, it's, uh, it's, you know what it is? Cannabis. Mexico, no, Mexico <laughs> inspires me. Inspires me is the color, is, is the, the smells, yeah. the people. The dog shit. Yes, but dog yeah. shit is part of the experience. It sure is, buddy. Come on! So Gina Campo, Fitzurex and I are on a brand new culinary adventure <laughs> across Mexico, and the U.S. of A. It looks like you. <laughs> wow, Mexico didn't even make the title. Oh my God. We're in search of the most memorable ingredients. I love testicles. My dad cooked them all the time. Amazing vino. Slow down, Gino. And spectacular views. I want to show them the food here is bigger, bolder, and better. He's on fire. Trouble is, Gino Yo. and Fred are stuck in their old Euro ways. It reminds me of a cassoulet, very French. Where I come from, we don't do that. Well, this is America, honey. <laughs> Three amigos. <laughs> I've got some in my eyes. Three big egos. Gino! How do we get out of here now? Back on the road, together hey, again. I'm not been party to this. He's done. Holy shit! What is this, Top Gear? Oh, nice, I got a raffle. Road trip across America. we end up in jail. I guess it should be American and Mexican road trip, but Mexico didn't make the title, it's fucked up. <laughs> Could have called it North American road trip. I guess that's implied, but... We're so lucky. The bus is stopping right here. This yeah. is the bus stop? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. How I convenient. I love this country. Jeez. What in the... Are you wearing? Huh? I said dress casual. But well, you yes. always dress the same. Yeah, just smart casual. Just put some spice in your in your dress. Seriously, this is not the Mexican people they dress. I filmed here for two years. I did 14 episodes of an Italian in Mexico. Stop it. I mean, you bang on about American food. Mm -hmm. Mexican food is on to another level. And look at the rise in Mexican, Mexican restaurants in England. That's true, Golden. But hold on, only because there wasn't any there beforehand. <laughs> Let's go. That's the bus. Hola. The adventure has started. Hola. I truly believe American cuisine is on another level. But with 40 million tourists a year visiting I'm surprised Mexico, you feel that the way, flavors to be and culture are remain to be convinced well, I'll take by it. our very own pocket tour guide. You know where the world avocado came from? Pear. Uh, no. Get up. I'll show you. The cuisine is. El avocado, it viene por los collones. <laughs> Stop. Stop it's true. It. It's the ancient Aztec language. No, really? It's, yeah. it's uh, uh, bowls. Really? Testiculus. Yes, testiculus. Testic seriously? Si. 
Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm full of facts about this in Mexico. Did you know that this is the nation where they make the world's best breakfast? A place called Valle de Guadalupe. Wow. They won a huge competition, right? Yes. Yeah. And they went up against Hawksmoor's full English breakfast. So they beat them, but the breakfast is going to be that good. To win the best breakfast in the world has to be something else. Yeah. You think Finally, so? Have you tried it? No, never tried it. Have that. you? No. no. Why don't we make this a mission? I think we should go and try it. Yeah, let's go. I think I've just agreed to travel across Mexico for a fry-up. <laughs> Our journey starts in Tijuana, which sits right on the US border. Then we'll be heading down the Pacific coast towards Ensenada, and then on to Guadalupe Valley for the world's best breakfast, before looping back to Tijuana on our way to the States. Thank you. Tijuana became a tourist destination in the 1920s, when prohibition was in force in the States. Thirsty tourists flocked here for one particularly potent tipple. Fireworks? All right. I'm not babysitting you tonight, no <laughs> chance. No chance, but it's about tasting. Yeah, it's it's very serious stuff. Monkey is about tasting. Yeah, let's get pissed, my friend. Tequila back home has got a bad reputation. It's all about getting drunk. But here, it's totally different. This is very famous. I've read about it. It's yeah. a guy called Contajo who make it. Uh, it's called 400 Coneros. It means 400 rabbits. Cheers. Okay. 400 rabbits. So for our Mexican trip. Yes, very good. Right. Right. I went blurry. Ah. Mmm. Sorry, brothers. I don't know how long I've been married. Fantastico. Can I have some water, please? I get some water. This is tequila. You need to do it and you need to put it upside down. But, Gino, you need to appreciate <coughs> what it is. I am appreciating. The spirit. And also, take your fucking time. Like, why is it so smoky? They make them using a very traditional process. So it's the roasting, it's the grinding, <laughs> you have a water and it's the fermentation and distillation in copper steel. Oh, my God. Yep. Why is this still? Whatever that means. <laughs> I think there is something kinky going on. <laughs> no? No, aren't they, uh, aren't they fighters? I think that they are wrestlers. Wrestlers? What? Wrestlers, Mexican wrestlers. Well, they don't want to show their faces. Why? Why? Because they, their private life and their professional life is totally different. That's true. They don't want to be recognized. They look like no, Power they're Rangers. Like, they're like superheroes. <laughs> so it's what just, is in the secondary? This is very different. This so is made is... from blue agave. No rabbits. No rabbit this time. Okay. Ready? Cheese. Cheers. This one is much more subtle. Thank you. Oh my God. Come on, one Gordon got left hanging. And all for one. one. There we go. Oh, oh, yes. I've never been a massive fan of tequila. I love cooking with it. I'm just not a big fan of drinking it. It burns my throat. And those guys were drinking like it was freaking water. Well, that's because you're a puss. It looks very interesting. You always wanted to be a professional boxer, fellow, man. Can you fight? Have you ever gone into a fight? No. I never got into a fight in my life. They just invited us to a training session, and I said yes. They're like something out of fucking Halloween. Is this thing? <laughs> and let's have another tequila. Fred, come on then. Billy Big Bollocks or Billy Bullshit? What the hell is that? I wasn't sure if this was Rattles censored or not, tequila. but that answer is that. Right, Fred, though. No, 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 Fred. No, no, no. no, no. Fred, can you put it in a glass? Can you put no, it in a glass? No, 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 can't bring in a glass. No, 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 <laughs> it's I good got, though, isn't it? I've got some in my eyes. One second. I've got, I got some in my eyes. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. One more tequila. You happy? This is unbelievable. How beautiful is this? We picked up a mammoth new set of wheels. That's crazy. She's called Betty. Betty the Beast. She's gorgeous. It gets so nice four to miles to the gallon. <laughs> She'll be at home from home <laughs> for the next four weeks. Watch out, don't cross. What do you mean you're back in jail? Be careful, Gordon. It's like the Arc de Triomphe here. And it's Mexico. Look There's the no traffic laws. <laughs> they stole it from the Italian people. I think the best way to know about the food culture of a city yes. is always go to the local market. Totally agree with you. When yeah, your you're palate right. as refined as mine, you can identify when good food <laughs> hits the mark. And you know I have a better palate than both of you put together. You oh. know that. We can do a test taste, a blind taste. I I'd wait and get that palate refined before I think do we've that. done Pack this plot before. <laughs> the RV. Close your eyes. Uh, mozzarella. Mm. Uh, tomato. Oh, do you think that I only eat mozzarella and tomato just because I'm Italian? <laughs> no, yes. That's all you seem to cook with. I saw the Gino's Great Escape and that's it. It's tomato and mozzarella every episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucker, I tell you that. <laughs> We're not telling you now, are we? Can this thing fit in there? Yeah. Dog. 
careful and be careful, yeah? You don't I'm want Fred, to... Please, um... Jesus Christ. Holy oh, my God. What have you done? Wait, 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 wait. What, what have you done? What has he done? I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Excuse, excuse I thought, I thought I was going to go up. What? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It came down quickly and I thought it was going to be back up. He's probably going to blame you next. The Macabre Hildalgo is Tijuana's oldest open They can afford to pay for that. It's been a foodie paradise for 60 years. There's no better place to prove whose palate is best, my Michelin starred one, or Mr. Mozzarella's. Oh, can you smell? I love this. Yeah, the spices and everything. Look at these. What is that? Fork skin. Fork skin? Scratching. You want scratching? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's so fun that you have to try. Wow. All right, it's Thank very you. light, huh? This is better. Oh, look oh. at that! That's a nice one. All this stuff here is sourced locally, so it's a bit of a dream because it's just everything's so fresh. Do you know what that is? Bean, fresh tamarind, but I've got a way better refined palate than both you put together. It says here tamarindo, and you just read it. No. Yeah, we've done this plot. I swear. <laughs> Look. No, 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 you said you have the oh, We're, we're looping now, brothers. Oh, we're like stuck that. in a time loop. We're going right. to test you now. We're going to no. see how good you are. <laughs> Hold you are not going anywhere. Stay there, yeah? Don't move. Oh. Ah. Go on. Three Michelin star. Poblanos? Let me see. Poblanos, yes. <laughs> Got him. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, are you two done now with this bullshit? Wow. Look at this. Fantastic. So you understand the strength of these chilies, right? They're dried, so they are super intense. Chili peppers are eaten by a quarter of the world's population every day. But no one beats the Mexicans for their passion. They have 150 homegrown varieties true. to choose from. The scope of the world is off the charts. Schofield? Schofield? Well, Philip Schofield. <laughs> is he here in Mexico? <laughs> it's how you identify the strength of a chili. Wilbur Scoville, a pharmacist in Massachusetts, came up with the Scoville scale in 1912 to measure the strength of chili peppers. I'm just trying to explain to the boys that the chilies are super hot. Yeah. I have a very refined palate. These two are a little bit uneducated. Uh -huh. So um, I'm trying to get them up to speed. You know what the French scientists discovered? <laughs> oh, no. That yeah. the chilies actually <laughs> increase the testosterone level. Oh. French, yes, scientists. I mean, obviously, I don't need them because I'm as hot as it gets, but you guys definitely need some help. Oh. Damn, got okay. him. Listen, let's do a competition. Oh, no. yeah, I'm going to yeah, be the referee. Yeah. You Gordon have, like, have five kids. Your, <laughs> put your blindfolds on. We'll take it gradually, don't worry. Step by okay. step. All right. OK. Are you ready, boys? Yes. Wait a sec. Where is he? Gino's got at least two. All right, are you ready? Yes. Fred, have any? Yes. Fred, don't put it too spicy, yeah? Open your mouth. Well done. Open, open. Uh, can you okay. swallow, guys? Swallow. Oh Chew it. Chew it properly. Let's see how manly you are now. <laughs> so, can you rate that chili? Yes, fucking hot. Where does it rate on the scale? Oh. On the Philip Schofield scale. The Philip Schofield here. <laughs> A medium to hot one. Not super hot, but hot. So it's not really hot then? No. You are such wusses. Maybe it would be better as chili. Okay, one, one, one. One, one. Shall we give him two? Let's go. Let's give him two. It's more for us. Okay, open your mask, hold on. Oh no. This is your tiny. Team. Tiny little chili. You need to, to chew. You need to chew. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking hot chili. This is hotter than the other one, Fred. I, I give you a crane sugar. You, you can. <laughs> you can like, bite. What, what do they have to do? They bite it? Yes, bite it. Shall we do the third one? The third one is the. Popular, this one. Oh my it's god. It's the Guinness record. So, so, so hot. Do you think they're going to be in trouble? Uh, oh. This is a ring Just of fire. Okay, get ready, Golden. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking heaven arrow. That was it. Yes, that one is up on the hero. That last oh. one. The last one. Oh, that's not far. Oh my god. Sweating. I was waiting for Lurk to kick in. My eyes. Here it's honey. They're not gonna. Oh. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna go. Thank you so much. Here you are. It's definitely working. working, the chili. Let's go. Come let's on, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Much gracias. Let's go. You're in love. Let's go. Ciao. Thank you. You've just destroyed my palate. One of the finest on the planet. All right. 
Come we on. need to go and get toilet paper. And it burns, burns, there it burns. is. The ring. Oh. oh shit, man. They can this only afford no five seconds to Johnny Cash lyrics. <laughs> nice. How long for coffee? Ten minutes. <coughs> what I'm gonna do, I got a coffee, I'm gonna put a couple of cinnamon stick, the way the Mexican do, and we, I need to flame it. You need to what? Oh, you flame, flame, flame this. No, 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 no. no. Flame the coffee. That's what they said. They said if you got a blowtorch, I don't have a blowtorch. No, with a deodorant. Gino! Gino! <laughs> <laughs> they said that. You're nuts. Are you drunk again? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Gino! <laughs> Do you know about this? Stop fucking around. You're queer. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I've you always said you know, okay, a good okay, example. Okay, Jesus okay. Christ. Yeet. You're an idiot. Hey, Seuss. I still got a headache from last night. Can I be honest with you both? I think I'm still slightly drunk. You gotta come down. You're always slightly drunk. Our Mexican adventure continues down the coast of the Baja Peninsula towards Ensenada, home to some of the best seafood in the world. Bet. Beautiful coastline. Wow, look at that. This is known as the Cinderella coastline. In this peninsula, it. you can find the best fish and seafood in the world. When I did uh, uh, the very uh, popular uh, Gino da Campo, an Italian in Mexico series, yes, I met the Cazador, <laughs> the hunter chef, the founder of the Baja Med cuisine. Baja Med is a kind of mixture between Mexican food and Mediterranean food, all in one pot. Goddamn. Happy with that. How, How are you, sir? Good morning. Good to see you, good. Good morning, yeah. Yeah. How, How are you? Nice you? No How worries. Hey, good. 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 Gina's old pal, Miguel Guerrero, has been fishing these waters since he was five years old. If anyone can help us get a good catch, he can. Are there any oh. sharks here? Yes. Yeah. Jesus. You're joking. Sharks? I assume you don't like sharks. Who the fuck likes shark? <laughs> shark people? The Discovery Channel? Katy Perry? The biggest fish that you go, which one is it? Uh, a giant black sea bass, 120 kilos. Mm. Oh. What's our chances of getting one today? Perfect. Is it? Really? Shall we? Yes. All right, let's, let's go. Let's, let's get you a break. Bet. Spearfishing is an ancient technique well, used around the world go? for millennia. There's now a ban on commercial net fishing in these waters, so it's become a necessity for Miguel. Our kit includes powered spear guns. Wait, there's a band, so you're going to do it anyway? Which is so buoyant, we need <laughs> I may have, I may have misheard that. <laughs> but there's one old soap that I don't want getting wet. I would never trust Gino underwater, half a foot away from me with a spear gun. Personally, I think he's hungover. Gino, do the cooking, I'll fetch the fish. Naturally, yeah, it's illegal I get first now, so we got to do it quick gun. before Fred's they arrest play us. Bag lady. Good luck. Visibility down here is limited. Well, yeah, you're underwater, idiot. <laughs> no Patience shit. Patience and skill are crucial. <laughs> Vision underwater is limited. Oh, really? I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Oh, let's go! Bullseye on the first shot. Bird, in your basket. <laughs> Go! 
All in a day's work for a seasoned fisherman like me. This looks fun. Not for me, because I hate water, but for people who like water. Look, Gordon Where the visibility is limited. Three, but at the end of the day, he was full of fish down there. It was like a supermarket. So even if you were blind and, and you couldn't fish and couldn't swim, you are sure to get a fish. Let me try. But Gordon was so excited and he wouldn't give me the, the bloody spear. You chewed on everything. Unbelievable. What a kid. <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking hell, it's hot. The Legion of Gino's Doom. has been preparing for lunch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> come on! Come on! What's wrong with you two? Hold on! You muppet! How beautiful is that? Only one? Muppet. No, oh. come on! <laughs> two! Oh my god, that's lovely! I'm all three, the baby one for you. Happy? Wow, very happy. Now I'm hoping, because you've done nothing all Hello. day, it will uh, wake you up to sort of cook us something when we get back to shore. Yeah, of course. Please? Don't worry, leave it to me. Yeah? Uh, you know, when it comes to cooking, please leave it to me. Uh huh. But not driving. Then again, Lincoln, right? home we established that in the last series. Now I'd like to see a little bit of effort from Gino. They really should have hired a driver. Something quite exciting, <laughs> and Fred can host the cabin by. J Gordon just took out a thing earlier. So. <laughs> uh, can I just say thank you to Miguel, please? Uh, gracias. Uh, gracias. None thank of you. them can Thank you, guys. Gino, slowly. We, we talked well, about that before. Come on. Ah, I'm okay. thirsty. The right name of these is cheap heads. Cheap heads. Well, guess who's not so getting drunk? So these are cooked right? Yes, it's uh, white meat. White meat, amazing. Uh, I cannot take just like me with the hair like that. <laughs> no, me neither. Me neither. You look like a I'm, like a ten years boy. I'm what just is gonna, that? Just <laughs> out the water. It's Club Seven. <laughs> Put something like stop. that you whiff it up. Can you stop messing around? There you go. That's better. I'm going to put a touch of Italy into my ceviche. Of okay. course. Put a touch of Bahamed. Bah okay. No, you do Bahamed, I do uh, the Italian wine. Ceviche is widely believed to have originated in Peru. Traditionally, raw fish is cubed and cured in citrus juices and seasoning. Uh, listen, Gordon, uh, can you slice a fish? What I want you to do, if you can do it, mm -hmm. is to, uh, I want pieces like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. The fish has to be really, really thin. Quick um, question. Mikhail's dicing here. Do you want your slice thin like a carpaccio? Yes. But it's a ceviche, not carpaccio. Uh, just, just, just saying, that's all. I'm doing <laughs> the Italian white. So, uh, no, no, I like <laughs> the way they do it. It's always yeah. chunky. It's never sliced carpaccio, right? No, he got the hands up before he even said it. We're doing up. a ceviche. Yes, but I'm doing the Italian one, which has got the carpaccio style. <laughs> My dressing, I'm going to start with extra virgin olive oil and lime juice, mm -hmm. but I'm going to light it up with white wine. Look at this beautiful dressing that I made. I'm going to put a that on. Beautiful. Chopped tomatoes, chopped chili, very simple. Finish it off with a little balsamic glaze that you've done, a um, little sprinkle is, of sea salt on top. This is delicious. Et voila. Huh? Miguel, describe yours, please. It's a Baja. Baja made. It's it a the, salad. The tomatoes, it has the chili, <laughs> it has the crackling of the picnic. Oh, Miguel, I like it. Gracias. I love it. It's very good. Thank bueno. You. For me, it's the texture of that crunch with the piglet skin. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Come on, Miguel, try this. Uh, Miguel, please. Gino's uh, Capaccio. Sorry, Ceviche. Mm. How was that for you? I think it's very balanced, very delicate. And I like the touch of the balsamic. Yeah. But it's not a ceviche, it's a Capaccio. Well, no, it I is know. marinated <laughs> with the lime and the lemon. <laughs> ceviche is a technique. It's a technique. It's not a recipe. The fundamentals of a ceviche is diced fish, not sliced. It's not true. There's two Look. different things going on here. When you slice fish super thin, it cooks within seconds. You could serve it and sprinkle it with lemon juice, it will serve and cook within seconds. <laughs> he what looks so Gino offended. Doing 11 years ago, <laughs> traipsing around Mexico, shooting a show for some post office network, uh, because clearly he didn't learn anything. You, you just got some history there from the legend himself. He showed you how to do a ceviche. I knew how to do ceviche. <laughs> and my thing was nothing to do with ceviche. It was a ginoiche. That's uh -huh. what it was. Right. But as usual, Gordon. Yes, now Gordon's turning Italian. You know what I mean? I do, yeah. After what I think we can all agree was a valuable cooking lesson for sure. Gino. We're back on the road in Ensenada. God damn it, hire a driver! So, oh, he says stop, stop, S-T-O-P, S-T-O-P. 
And he said, Gordon, it's all about balls of steel. Sitting down with Lewis Hamilton <laughs> is not going to make you a Formula One driver. Sure it If is. If I told you I drove with him then, what would you say? What did he say? Were you any good? Yeah, he said, uh, if you wasn't the best chef in the world, you could be an amazing <laughs> You're Formula such a driver. bullshitter. <laughs> what are you going on what he says? Oh, no, 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 not never sign. the window. In the wall. Yeah, go, you're clear. No. Oh. You need to go. What, what uh, happened? Let's go, let's go, Gordon. Okay. Let's go. Let's Hire go. a driver. Messed the up. Bye, 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 bye. I messed the pole up. Oh, yeah. I believe I'm the fastest driver. Because you know you, you you don't like going that fast. You're the quickest Fred, to crash. You sure. have two seats. What so. is going on with all this competition all the time? I'm better than you, better than Gino. What is going on, Fred, Gordon? Fred, do you it's watch the show? Fred, I tell you what, if you guys are in, why have we got the time to stop and race? Do you really are want you to race me? I don't think you got the cojones See, to go I'll fast. Because that's what it takes. Oh I'm going to kick your ass. So then I'm never going to hear you ever, ever, ever again. You're going to be eating some dust, Gordon. Right. Let's look for a track and settle this once and for all. Please. OK, okay you're on, Gordon. Please. This is Top Gear now. Fuck it. Wow, look at this place. Look at those cars, man. It's insane. This is it. You ready? Right, let's go. Since we're right on the doorstep of the Baja 400, it's not too hard to find a racetrack. Just like us, these buggies are built for speed and endurance and perform best well oiled. Should be the perfect harmony of man and machine. Oh! Holy shit. <laughs> ITV's like, if we can't have now Top Gear, it's our turn. we'll make our own. <laughs> I'll give you Top Gear. Three laps of the track, and the winner gets the biggest prize of all. Bragging rights. Mate, I can't reach the pedal. Are you well, okay? How are you feeling? Do you know I'm feeling great. I'm a little bit scared. Is that normal? <laughs> Fred! Yeah. You're gonna change your diaper, now's a good time. <laughs> I've got your number, mate. I've got your number. Gordon, you are going down, my friend. Watch and learn how it's done. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm in the blue car, Gino's in the yellow, and Fred's in the red. Okay, thank you. Oh. Viva la Mexico! Oh, shit. I can't see anything. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Halfway Aww. through, I'm out in front. But the Italian is hot on my heels. Not the Italian. Oh, yes. Shit. Ah, shit. Gordon, get up to the way. Shit, my boots. <laughs> Driving like a true Neapolitan, Gino cuts me up to get ahead. Now you can fucking kiss my ass. <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Park it there. Wait, does that mean Fred wins? You guys are still in Hammond's gimmick. Hammond's never seen such fuckery. Shit. Is Gino okay? 
Now he's dead. That's how we start the series. He's dead. You okay? Who parked the camper there? A Hulk Hogan shirt? Was that a Hogan shirt or a Piper shirt? I'm sorry I'm more interested in this shirt than Gino's well being, but I am. This is very important. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's Niver. It might be Back to the Future? Can't make it out. I thought it was like the Hot Rod shirt. He's Gordon, right? Fuck. Hey, he's fine. I mean, I don't know what's happened. I, I, I just, on the, on the bumpy thing, lost control straight into Betty. It's really his top gear now. Oh, I pushed too much. I fucking pushed too much. You okay? Not really. Jesus. Are you? What happened? Did you you went underneath it? I went underneath Betty. How do you come off the track and go under our RV? How's that possible? Oh my God. <laughs> but I need cuddles. <laughs> cuddles? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, fine. I What's happened the last to bend you? Here. Oh, oh God. Fuck. I went up on there. Meanwhile, Fred won. He completely won, smashed so. this car. He hasn't won because you need no, to, he hasn't, he hasn't you need won to cross there. No, no, he won. He stopped and, and his engine's off, so he hasn't won. No, he won. You hey, okay? guys, it's like the turtle and the hare. The what? The turtle and the hare. He's but just had you an guys, oh, he just, just had an accident. How about asking how he is first? I don't nope. think I think I think no, I can see how you are, but <laughs> I stopped because I thought that Gordon was dead. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Oh, let's Fred won, don't the care. Race, and let's just say I came first, you came second, and Gino came first. No, no, I came first. Yep. You stopped you when you do the ditch. A situation like this is when we're supposed to be family. You're yeah. fucking shouting that you won. Who gives a fucking shit? There's nothing you know, with... I could have fucking killed myself. He's gone into the fence. This is when fucking family comes around. Thank God you didn't hit it face on. Oh my Had God. you hit that face on, we, you wouldn't be here, my man. You know that? I'm going to be less competitive on this trip. Uh -huh. I'm going to be less competitive, OK? Yeah. More mellow, because I don't want any more accidents. Well, as, as I landed, it's ten to be hit ten minutes the, later. Uh, uh, break. I hit the accelerator. No, 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 you can't drive with that gun. It's on the floor. Look at that. Look at the state of it. Look at that. This is messed up. You know, the only thing that you should do is mourn, and and yet you're not worried about the way I feel. You want a hug? Seriously? No, no. It's, it's seriously. You know that this I could have broke my neck in here. Where are you going? I, I don't want to listen to this shit anymore. Tell. Should we get a medic for you? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Be a plot twist if he just went home. The Gugaraja, the Gugaraja. Any news fun. from the mechanic? I think it's gonna be a while. We may not see Betty again. Oh, come on. We must be able to fix it. How? Well, even if you don't have the part, just... No, we can't. No, do something. The, sus the suspension's gone. The wheel arch is gone. Mm. The tire, they can't find a tire. Yeah. And I mean, it's so... a very special car, you know. You don't repair it like this at any garage. We'll get ITV to give you a new one. Despite the loss of our RV, we're determined to make it to the Guadalupe Valley to visit La Cocina de Doña Estela. Winner of the world's best breakfast. She but claims all about, she right? makes the best scrambled egg in the world. Now you claim the same thing, so how this is gonna work? Alberu taught me how to do uh, scrambled eggs. Okay. Lots of cream, lots of butter. It's funny because Alberu taught me how to make scrambled eggs. And? Yeah, 35 million views later on YouTube, oh. yeah, it's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, Gordon, I think you've actually improved my recipe. I think I've seen that one, actually. This is it. <laughs> Look how busy this place is. Oh, oh my God. Hi. 
Hola. Bienvenidos. Latest line cut. Oh, they totally line cut. Amazing. Donia Estela opened her kitchen to the public. We'll in pretend they had a reservation. After decades working as a washerwoman, with rave reviews from everyone who ate here, it wasn't long before queues began to form. You are so relaxed, and yet your restaurant is full. Yo me levanto a las dos de la mañana y yo hago toda la producción. Wow. Yo. Yeah. Every morning. Dos. Two o'clock. We can't Está. wait to taste it. Yes. We want to try. Está. Which Which one is it? Machaca. Shall we? Yes, please. Three. Yes. Three. Yeah. The dish we're here for is machaca con huevo. Dried shredded beef, generously spiced with serrano chilies. It's served with a peppery side of refried beans. I made sure to eat before I watched this, by the way. Made this is why. Gino. This is a feast for kings. Well, let's I, feast away. I ate before I watched this because I knew it would be some shit like this. Come on, vlog. Amazing. How good is that? There is insane. It's almost like a crispy duck. It looks so flavorsome. Can I ask you a restaurant question? Yes. All right, and you as well. Mm -hmm. People like the Michelin guy. Could <laughs> they give a star to food to food served like this? Absolutely. Totally. It's all about the food, the quality of the ingredients, and the quality of oh, the really? cooking. Yeah. There's a street vendor in Singapore that has a Michelin star. This is easily on the radar to be recognized by Michelin. Why the flavor is extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. So bien. Really delicious. Oh my God. How many people would you feed today on a day like this? Como dos mil gentes. She's saying about 2,000 on a Sunday. 2,000? Damn! Oh. What? <laughs> wow. Can we, can we cook something for you? Okay, thank you. We're a team, so I have my sous chef and my waiter, so we'd love <laughs> to have the opportunity. To yeah, to win. Win. Got him. No? <laughs> I'm going to use that oven, okay, for the roasting. That's got to be at least, oh shit, 700. We've got a hell of a job on our hands to make something comparable to that breakfast. I'm going to make a Mexican take on a full English. So, I need my sous chef on top form. Ah. Well, brothers, the footage wasn't on top form. <laughs> what the fuck happened? It just... It just froze? Yeah, it just froze. What the fuck? It did... I think VLC just crashed on me. Wow, that's never happened before for this media player, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it crashed. Wow. Shit. Okay, that was wild. Uh, after I exited VLC, like, the whole... My whole screen and everything crashed, so I just had to set the reset button. Luckily, the footage is okay. Thank God for that. Uh, but if you haven't updated... If you haven't upgraded to Windows 11 yet... Maybe don't. <laughs> Maybe don't. It kind of sucks donkey balls, but let's, uh, we got 20 minutes left. I'm going to make a Mexican take on a full English. So I need my sous chef on top form. Oh, it did it again. Oh, you know what? Oh, I bet you the footage is, um, corrupted at that point. Shit, there's probably a corrupted point in the footage. Okay, it looks like only about 30 seconds of it is corrupted, so I imagine all we missed is them cooking, so we'll pick up here. Hopefully there's no more parts like that. This is gonna leak into the other stuff. We have to work in tandem. I know. Ready? Bye-bye. Shit. The cerezo. Now I'm gonna drain that off now. I think this working relationship like this in the kitchen, we got heads up sous chef, seems to be working well. No? What that makes me? What the head mean? one or the sous chef? Well, of course you're the sous chef, but Why? Yeah, Why? Because A, I'm eight <laughs> years older than you, B, a lot more experience. Ah, okay, so yeah. we're doing on an age thing. Uh, and and then I'll take that. Experience. On an age thing, I'll take that. <laughs> With Gino back in his box, I've dispatched my wine waiter to the nearby Adobe Guadalupe Vineyard. Where he's on the hunt for a decent drop to accompany our meal. How are you, True? True yes. Miller built this place from scratch. Only 20 years ago, it was a watermelon plantation. So, True, tell me, why did you come here in Mexico 
um, to make this beautiful wine. I heard that you can really do whatever you want to do making wine. You can just put different grapes together, which of course you cannot do in other right. countries. Yeah, because there is no oh, really? regulation Not whatsoever, yet. Oh, right? grape regulation? Yeah. No rules. No rules. You are like so a pioneer. Also, yeah. Yes, 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 I think so. I mean, that must be singing in the bottle. Oh, look at those legs. I mean, it's beautiful. This is a wine that you those would legs. never, ever, ever bro. find in Europe. No. A mix of Nebbiolo and Cabernet Sauvignon, Italy and France together. Yes. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. This is so soft, it's so smooth. Uh -huh. Very good. Would it be okay if I brought a few bottles of the uh, Nebbiolo Cabernet Sauvignon to of my course. two friends, Gordon and Gino, because this is absolutely fantastic. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Yoink. No, this could go also in the beans. How many ingredients do you want to go in the beans? Less is more, right? Because I just think it's a good idea. I think it's a terrible idea. Our breakfast from Estella was in front of us within seconds of ordering. So, to speed things up, Gina's doing the beans, and I'm doing, well, everything else. Yeah. How are the beans? Beans, then, are even nowhere near. No, no Abba, wait, it still needs to cook. Well, that needs seasoning. Hey, I don't like to do it at the end. Let it reduce a little but bit, then at the end, end I do it. Small amounts of seasoning across the cooking process, rather than a big clump at the end. How many times have I told you? Huh? Yes, chef. Yeah. Right, Double eggs, we ready? I'm ready for you, chef. We gotta go. He's punching the air. Oh, Gina. No, 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 because you look hell. like one of those doctors doing an operation. Fucking hell. He's sweating like there is no tomorrow. Where's the beans? The beans are already on the side. Here. How does that look? Perfect. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. Thanks for doing the beans. All right, let's go. Plate up. Oh, never a compliment, eh? Fuck. God forbid if you God forbid <laughs> if you have to say well done for something. Well, let, let's get God forbid. Oh, no, no. <laughs> hey guys. Hey fellow. And I bought you this one. It's a mix of Nebbiolo and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's like Italy and France together. Gino and can Fred in a bottle. Can they do that? Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Hey guys, can we get ready for our uh, lunch? Gino, can you go a bit faster, please? Please come through. Is this ready? I hope they ready. hate it. No, I'm just kidding. relax, Gordon. <laughs> yeah, but let's get the food on the table first. Let's go. Salsa. Yeah, in the middle. Oh, fucking okay, no. hell. I, I, I never get any Stay support. Stay calm. Have you done it? Everybody's happy. Well, they haven't tasted it yet. Look at the brunch you get for us. Cooking with Gordon is always an experience. Even if you 100% are better on a certain dish, you're going to have to put it in your head, if Gordon is there, you're just going to have to follow. And uh, you know what? I like an easy life. I don't want to argue, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Ah, oh, boys. How are we doing? Muy rico el desayuno también. She says that your breakfast is very delicious. Right. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> she also says she's she says a notorious she liar. Always. 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 Bless. Do you like everything? <laughs> Yeah. Good. Yeah. Bravo, bravo, bravo. The beans, good? Okay. The beans, yeah. The beans. It's all about the beans. It's all about the beans. <laughs> Fucking roads, man. Oh, <laughs> my God. The roads here, they never... Thank God they finally got a driver. Straight. They always... Bam, bam, bam. Keep no, it that way. You right at home because it's exactly like in Naples. After Donia Estella's endorsement of his breakfast beans, Gino's keen to tell his family. Hello, Charlie. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, how are you? How's the trip? Yeah, yeah, the trip is cool. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine here. Hello, mate, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Cool. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to, but you know, it's difficult. We had a slight accident yesterday, but he's fine. Oh, where are you? Actually, uh, Head and Street Kitchen. Oh, nice. Is it Head and Street Kitchen? That's my restaurant. Did you know who I'm here with? Hey, look, look. Pizza! What, what the, the hell? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> what are you going on here? <laughs> hey, Bella! Uh, oh, my God. How are you? God. Tilly! What? Oh. what are you doing, Matilda? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ciao, Bella. Let's oh. go. Tilly. Tilly. No. You didn't tell me you're going to dinner with Luciano. Oh, boy, I'm 
<laughs> oh, guys, remember it's okay to kiss on the first date. Oh, stop it's, it's it! It's okay. It's okay. You got my permission. Oh my god! If you feel the urge, you gotta do it. My worst nightmare has come true. Tilly, I'll talk to you later. Go hey, Lucci. <laughs> what? Send the kisses to the couple. Um, uh, my, oh, you guys are gonna be related, whether you like it or not. Mama mia! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, John Paul Young. That's how this whole show ends. I think she's in love. With them being related. Tilly Daka. I hope so. Sounds perfect. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> We're now heading back towards the US border, where the next leg of a road trip will take us into the States. There's just time to stop off back in Tijuana for what Gina has promised us all will be a nice light lunch. This is the place, guys. This is where the experience is gonna happen. The Caesar salad was created the, in this very place. Really? This is where all the ingredients came together. Hola, hombre, como está? El mi amigo cocinero. Hello, how are you? El mi amigo nice you. Uh, Fred. Mucho gusto. Who's ready for a Caesar salad? Yes, please. Definitely, yes, please. Definitely. Yes, please. definitely, definitely. Juan Pacencia's grandfather was instrumental in the creation of the world's most famous salad back in the busy Prohibition era of the 1920s. Yeah. What do you put in the ingredients? We have egg yolk, we have the John Monster, we have uh, anchovy paste. We have uh, garlic and mozzarella cheese, and this is where I add the oil. What kind of oil is it? It's uh, extra virgin olive oil. How did he put the ingredients together? Like, it was it's car oil. Difficult. And they were running out from ingredients. So it, it was I'm putting boat oil on your this salad. This is where the best recipe <laughs> come from. You know, when, when you open the cupboards, you try many things. Yeah. It's spontaneous, when yeah. you get your passion coming through, and just go for it. Yeah. And then why was it named Caesar Salad? Uh, the restaurant owner, Caesar Cardini. Oh, uh, gracias. Uh, gracias, thank gracias. you. Uh, excellent, thank you. thank you. Bravo, bravo, um, bravo. It looks, it looks good, it smells good. Bon appetit, bon by appetit. the Mmm. Mm. Just nice. Very nice. Have I not delivered, as far as food is concerned? The only thing I'll change well. is maybe a little bit of heat in the dressing. Spice. Yeah, a touch of chili flake. Got me thinking. Um, let's give me two seconds. Mm. The thing is about Gordon, that whatever we're going to say, unless it's a positive thing... He's going to be upset. He's going to be upset. So shall we tell him that we like it? No. Mm. There he goes. He comes even with the trolley. Really? You don't oh, think... Sorry, excuse me. I mean, seriously, you can drive Betty, you can drive the trolley. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Watch and learn. He can't drive My salad contains several of the local ingredients we picked up on our travels. So it's all about the dressing, but I'm going to make it a little bit more spicy. Tabasco, the Worcester sauce, a touch of chili, some roasted poblano peppers, a beautiful spoon. How are you going to go into honey? where it's they an invented Caesar salad and just now, walk up in here and, and in there. say, no, fuck place. you, I'm making it different? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that. But guess Very what? Nice. You got some no balls, nice. old man. A touch of tequila. <laughs> so far, it's got nothing to do with the Caesar salad. It, it's a different, you're inventing a new salad. Yeah, yes. Cilantro, mm. cheese. How are you going to go out here and invent a you new salad? You know what the problem is? If you want to make a salad like this for every customer, it takes you too long. I'm busy, Gina. <laughs> just, you're busy, you're tossing a salad. But it's concentrating. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I clapped. I mean, I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry, it's... it's Making a salad. You could have stopped it. I could have stopped it. Fucking you are all over. You, you're making so much mess here. <laughs> <laughs> Fred died. It's not funny. It's, it's really please? funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Try not to break anything else. Yeah. yeah. I can't, can you bring a? <laughs> can you bring a broom? <laughs> it's gonna be fucking pissed off. Yes. Hey, Juan, sorry, Juan, I haven't here. One See second, Juan. No, just <laughs> health and safety. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was some one. salad here. I did a little spicy take on a Caesar salad. We finished with a tortilla chip. Please, dig in. <laughs> what do you think? It's really good. Would you do this in the restaurant? Yeah, definitely. Mm. It is very well balanced. The only thing you need to employ very 20 good. more waiter and 300 plates. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking clapped after he broke it. It's funny, bro.
Oh, I almost forgot about the lucha lucha. It's very violent. Fred, what have you got us into? Well, we're coming to watch. It's our last day in Mexico. But before we leave, Fred's insisting that we drop in on some friends he made on our first night here. What? Nice. Holy. Oh my god. This is serious. <laughs> Based on Greco Roman traditions, Lucha Libra literally means free fighting. They take it very seriously here. It's second only to football as a spectator sport, with the eternal struggle between good, the Technikos, oh! and evil, the Rudos. You know, it's nice to ring. see people look at week pro wrestling and not shit on it immediately. Guys, come in. No, come in. No, come in. No. Wait, we come in. Say no. no. Let's go no, say no. no. Oh, I can't wait to see him take a bump, bro. I'm not coming in anywhere. That ring sucks. Especially oh, in Mexico. It's yeah. intense training. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. We looked up who you are. We know who you are. You're not just going to see here. You're going to train with us. Yeah. Sorry? You're going to train. Just train. make, make yeah, him so do a gonna back, go back bump, back please. Room. You're going to change. Just, yeah. You're going to come back to the ring. Ready. Make okay. him do a back <laughs> bump. That's all I ask. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to fucking kill me. Theatre is a huge part of Lucha Libre tradition, and these guys take their craft very seriously, staying in character at all times. Big Daddy versus Giant Haystacks, this ain't. Nice reference. This is not going to be good for my avocados. Trust me. Come on. Hurry up! It's not my leg, guys. Gonna get hey, ballet hurts too. And you're gonna follow my friend here. Oh yes, what yes, they're gonna do the back, <laughs> make him do a back bump. Yes, thank you God. Okay. That ring you sucks. You need to have enough speed for the rotation. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He feels it. Yes. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I told you. I told you. It's fun, is it? Yep. Are you okay? It's fun, right? Yep. Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> this is interesting. What? Okay, yeah, you can do it. Very easy. Very easy. Oh my God, very easy. <laughs> Yo, Fred's in, in good shape, low key. Yes. Jump. <laughs> this is the worst hurricane rod I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. I'm done. You're, you're part of the team. Okay. Yeah, this is dangerous. You know, you're natural. Come on, Fredo. Give the French flag five. There we go. That's decent. Now, everybody who knows me, they know that I'm not an athletic guy. How did you feel when I was in the ring? You know, man, macho. Fred's got the body type for it, Completely out of place. I shouldn't be in the ring. Especially for this type of wrestling. I'm a lover, not a fighter. He's got a good These guys body don't for mess it. Around. If you don't land properly, or you don't slap your hands down or slap your legs down, man, you're gonna feel it. He's Mr. got like muscles the, as Wim Tuff to like make a rock and roll. How are we doing, Gord? Not too good. This is ridiculous. And by the way, tonight it's live. There's there, there's there's an audience coming. So ah uh, ah uh, no mouth. How do you think the fight's gonna go? <laughs> Shit. That's what I predict. Wait, are they yeah, actually going to be in a terrible. match? Gordon is ah, going to kill himself yeah. today. I told you that ring, brother. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought there was another thing in it. My compadres and I are in Tijuana for the fight of our lives. I come here to witness some wrestling. Oh, my God. They're actually books. Watching wrestling on ITV with World of Sport. But yes, no one said we're going to be doing it. World of Sport came back. We can't practice any more than we've practiced. I think that we are as good as we're going to get. Which is not there. One man down, you know, that's, uh, that's pivotal uh, against uh, these three beefcakes tonight. So yeah. don't hey, worry, the French are here. Yeah. The French are here, Golden. Yes! Passa le guacamole! Oh my god. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> what the <a> f- <laughs> Oh shit! Double clothesline! Oh, there we go! Double shoulder tackle! Let's go! Go, Gordon! Kick the ass! Hey! Okay, nice! Oh! The fight plays out in classic theatrical. It's not bad. Tradition. Okay, nice lame frog. The Tentnikos, or good guys, get off to a flying start. You're a babe face. Oh. But sure enough, the Rudos, or bad guys, always play dirty. The heels. Oh. They're gonna kill him. Hope they do. I mean, what? Oh. Oh, the nutbreaker. Oh, he slapped We're the leg good on that. Feet in the face. <laughs> oh, you've been hulking. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. <laughs> if only we had a secret weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Flying crossbody, yeah! Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I've loved Mexico. We live life to the full. What an experience. This road trip in Mexico is coming to an end. Did it you was say fun. Mexico? It was painful, but Close it was enough. worth it. And we should hold our heads high. For the first time, it was proper boys all together fighting. They're just doing random splashes team, now. On our team. <laughs> it's becoming like a family now, but a serious family. The only thing I have to say, viva the three amigos. And viva la Mexico. That one Lucha dude's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Small child's like, what? <laughs> the little pocket rocket saved the day. What a jump. No, I mean, guys, yeah. you've done all the hard work. My one was just a jump. That was but awesome. Minimum efforts, <laughs> maximum satisfaction. That's what it's all about. Next time, we're setting up for America's Wild West. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Hey, hey, stop. My testicles are like scrambled eggs. Man, Red Dead Redemption 3 looks really good. They're overtaking us now. They're gonna come here and they're gonna kick our ass. Hey! Oh, he's pissed off. See? Oh, damn. And thrown it down in Sin City. Oh, my God. I'm gonna put everything I got. No, slow down! Bye, bye, bye! Oh, fuck. What Shit. the hell have you done, man? Stop Lord, letting face. him drive! <laughs> Gino! Gino! <laughs> This episode was filmed before the coronavirus pandemic. Please stay at home and keep yourself, yourself and others safe. Got him. That coronavirus warning at the end. When did this air? This must have been right when shit popped off, yeah? Let me see. April 4th, 2020. This all aired in April 2020. That's a kick in the dick, ain't it? <laughs> hey, you can't go anywhere. Let's air this show about people going somewhere. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, man, so that was a wild episode. They had a Top Gear moment. Fucking Jito almost died. Jesus, that was... He was legitimately pissed, too. And then we had the glitch. I guess the footage was corrupted. Hopefully none of the error episodes are corrupted. Sorry about that, by the way. Um, and uh, the wrestling shit was awesome at the end. I'm really into wrestling, so I, I absolutely loved that. That that shit was great. Again, I, I loved how they were actually into it, because so many... People's initial reaction to wrestling is just a shit on it, you know? So I was really happy with how into it they were, you know? Uh, so uh, there's another Christmas special. And if I want to set that up in uh, December, I'd have to do three more episodes before then. So I'm thinking either two in October or one in November or vice versa. Um, we'll figure it out. But... For now, uh, that is going to do it for my 
in the technical sense, fifth, sixth reaction, but we're going to call it first to American Road Trip, because my title is different. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, my streamer, my day, my second channel for student views, my Twitter for following me, my Patreon if you want to support me, or my Daily Motion, maybe. It depends where this is. If this premieres on YouTube, then yes. If it premieres on Daily Motion, then you won't see my Daily Motion because you'll be on there. Uh, also, in the description is link is names of all my patrons. Uh, if you want to be one of my patrons, you can for as little as one dollar one pound, and you get access to reaction videos as well as to read your comments up to date early. Uh, and of course, you get your name in there as well. With all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey Steens. My first reaction to Gordon, Gino, and Fred American Road Trip. Although I guess this was technically North American Road Trip. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.